Good morning, BOHS. Today is Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021. <laughs> This Sunday, November 7th, our fallback time change will happen. It'll occur at 2 a.m. and repeat uh, at the hour, meaning you get an extra hour of sleep. Enjoy. Now, over to weather with Aaron. Well, I'm invisible. Woo. Um, so today, Tuesday, is uh, partly sunny, high 54, low 32. Wednesday, fully sunny, cool sun. A high of 48, a low of 28. Thursday, partly sunny, a high of 48, a low of 27. Friday, sunny, high of 48, a low of 27. Saturday, sunny, high of 52, a low of 25. Now back to the desk. <laughs> Oh, okay. On Thursday, November 4th, stop by the Brooks Memorial Library from 7 to 8 p.m. to discuss a young adult fiction story with the team at Teen Advisory Board. The board decided to discuss famous author Julie Murphy's novel, Dumpling. Pizza and snacks will be provided and masks are required. This event is for teens only or people in grades 7 to 12. Wednesday, November 3rd, at the Putney Public Library, there is a... There is an event called Read to a Dog. It is from 4.30 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. <laughs> These are therapy dogs that are trained to help lower heart rates and stress levels. Over to funny news with John. Oh, God. That... Okay, great. Uh, funny news for the weekend. Um, over the weekend, 911 was called several times in California due to fire props out of ha fire props at a house. Uh, it was later discovered that the flames were Halloween props prop scene using sheets, a fan, lights, and a smoke machine. The Long family who set up the props were also in question in 2020 when 911 was also called several times. Travis Long reported to the fire department that the decorations were inspired by Disney's Pirates of the Yikes. Pirates of the Caribbean Amusement Park ride. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the fire department has announced that the public is no longer allowed to report the house to 911 unless the family smoke detector signs as an actual fire. That's, I mean, oh, go for it. I was going to say, don't. you know, they just got good production value. People should up their game around them, you know? I mean, two years in a row being, having 911 called on them twice, I'd assume they're pretty good at it. Yeah. I assume they just stop. No, it's no, that's funny. Yeah. Keep doing it. Yeah. You're doing a good job. See so what they do next year. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back to the desk. Hunters start getting ready for Vermont's <laughs> traditional 16-day regular deer hunting season. This begins on November 13th and ends on November 28th. A hunter may take one legal buck during the season if they did not already take one during the archery deer season. The, def the definition of a legal buck depends on the wildlife management unit. BUHS is offering open gym for people who are interested in playing basketball or just want to shoot around. The girls' open gym is on Mondays and Thursdays from 3.45 to 5.15 p.m. And the boys' open gym is on Tuesday and Fridays from 3.45 to 5.15 p.m. Now let's talk to James and Quinn about his special. Oh, was it just James? Hello, BUHS, and welcome to our special today. We are going to be doing the top five Thanksgiving foods. All right, starting off our list, we're starting off at number five with cranberry sauce. What do you think about that one? I mean, it's a pretty solid food, but it's definitely not, yeah, not it's, the It's best. not the top. It's not the top. It's definitely not the top. And for the next one, we got mashed potatoes. I think, I think yeah, for your number four, that is, that's a solid that's spot. It's pretty solid. I, I mean, I would put, personally, I would put it at three above stuffing, but that's a different story. I mean, you can put it anywhere. Most, you can put anything people, on it. Most people like stuffing yeah. more, so we put it up there at number yeah. three. And then at number three, we got stuffing. I feel like stuffing and mashed potatoes, they go really well together. 
So oh, I feel yeah. like they're kind of inter interchangeable. And if you add a little Grady fee to that, oh my God, that's too go. good. Uh, and then for the next one, we got a dessert. Next one's pumpkin pie, a classic. I, classic. I feel like this one deserves its spot at number two. It's just the best spot it's for it. It's just solid, solid dessert. Everyone loves it. If, if you don't got some good pumpkin pie at your Thanksgiving. Yeah, you gotta learn how to make a good pumpkin pie. Yeah. Then at number one, what else could it be except for turkey? Everyone loves yeah. their good turkey. If it's so cooked it's, properly, everyone will enjoy Thanksgiving. main point of the holiday. I mean, it's it's the main thing. Not? All right. And that's our special for today. And yeah. Back over to the desk. Epsilon Spires is showing a Buster Keaton comedy silent film on November 5th. <clears throat> the film will be accompanied by the live organ music. It starts at 7 p.m. and tickets are $18 for adults and $10 for children under 13. If you, have, <laughs> if you have nothing to do this November 6th, go to the craft fair in Winchester, New Hampshire. From 1 to 7, there will be many vendors, crafters, and baked goods, as well as breakfast and lunch. It is located at the VFW in Winchester, New Hampshire. And now over to World News with Hannah. So, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos announced that he will be pledging $2 billion into restoring nature. He said that going to space made him realize the fragility of nature and how important it is to take care of our planet. He said that overall he, spends a, he plans to spend $10 billion, and, you know, it only took him leaving the planet to realize that we have to save it. Back to the desk. <laughs> on Saturday, November 6th, you can go to the Brattleboro Winters Farmer's Market at 80 Flat Street in Brattleboro, Vermont from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. where you can get <clears throat> fresh vegetables and produce. So if you're looking for some good fresh foods, head on now. Build your very own Lego creation and display it at the Brattleboro Museum and Art Center. Entries must be delivered to the BMAC on Monday, November 9th or Tuesday, November 10th. See you later, BUHS. Let's go watch some Family Feud bloopers. What do you do there? Well, it's a tragic story. My dad, he died riding a bull, so now we just travel the country and ride bulls to revenge his name. You, you, you ride bulls across the country to revenge his name? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Other team. And rip my head. So embarrassing. <laughs> what question are you L. <laughs> Wait, which one is it? L when it's inverted? Oh! Nope, oh, right. I was right. Yeah. Where's the other one now? It's your right hand. Is that the end or not? It shows up on the left side. That's trippy as hell. Oh, wait. No. Okay, oh, when's this? When's this? Yeah. Yeah, your right hand makes it. Mm. This is funny to watch. Okay, uh, write me that. Even computer, if you move your hands, it like the camera laughs. Like move your hands like this. It feels weird. I keep forgetting how many questions there are. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't it trip you out a little bit? It's like so gross. Five. Yeah. You can say like the the bull distractor guy. But I mean, she literally said red flag, and they gave her cape. Like they Golly. Her. Here we go, when you hear a noise coming from your basement, what? Did, what? Did, that's a long question. <laughs> He ain't going to win and this. If you don't hit the button first, you better get first. I mean, Elias just told you his answer. Like Grandma. Uh, peanut butter jelly time. All right, Elias and Aaron want to do another one. Whatever, I'll do one with them. What is the question again, the sumo wrestle thing? Wait, don't let us hear it. It's a sumo wrestling question. Don't worry. Sumo you won't know the answers. The answers the <laughs> Are you going to know the answer to the question if I say it? Yeah. Just kind of stand here. Just write the answers. Name something you might do that you can I guess we'll just do one whole thing. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. I'm so hungry. I'm doing what I'm saying. Just sitting in here and looking at this is so funny. Oh, God, no. Oh, well, yeah. You know what? Is that a strategy? Probably Miss Grant. I probably got a really good one. Yeah, that was really neat. I think, I think Mr. Moore would probably be fine. This one I definitely don't want Mr. Moore. Chicken with no mayo and add Mac sauce? What's I can see why Mac sauce. Did you give her enough time, bro? Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's up. Oh, I would. <laughs> Oh crap, don't look at my answers. At my house, but on Fridays, we're like, we'll go out for food. Alright boys. Ready? But not too much money, so... <laughs> okay. Alright, you ready? She's <laughs> hungry. I am, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, two. And they win the game completely, folks. That's going to be the end of our show for today. See you again, DHS. Woo! Good job! Good job! Good job. Ending, ending too easy. <laughs>